The wonder of the coconut palm tree is amazing. First and foremost is the magical image Westerners have of turquoise waters, white beaches and waving palm trees. Of relaxation. Rightly so. But it also serves as the anchors for vegetation on the islands and they hang on against bad weather to the thin topsoil layer of sand which the hurricane so determinedly washes away. If not this year, then the next. Their leaves are used to braid baskets to keep and carry food, and braided leaves are used for cladding the walls of the houses. The coconut fruit is life. Isn't that face just too cute? But how to get one? Our hosts over the years just ran up the tree and picked a few. Out in the field they conveniently use stairs. And how to open it? With ease from experience, they smash the coconut into the heavy, sharp stick and one, two, three, job is done. So how should we open it on the boat? Skipper slits it into sections with a knife, then force it open with a heavy screwdriver, tear off the husks, and that's what we call barbecue wood. Yes, the husks are used for cooking. Equally well known is the liquid of the coconut. The milky substance is originally kind of sparkling, but when the nut gets older and form more solid food inside, the frizz is lost and the delicious milk remains to quench the thirst in a very nutritious way. Young fruit has soft and thin flesh which is normally scooped out to eat. Mature nuts have solid and hard flesh which takes a little harder work to get it out. Eating is excellent and dried grated coconut, a well-known product on shelves the world over. Cream is ringed from the freshly grated coconut and extensively used in cooking. The hard shell serves as baking dish to bake coconut des dessert in the traditional oven. Copra used to be a main export product. Now it is only done on a few islands. They collect the mature nuts and shell them in the field. In handy baskets, the coconut is carried home and dried. When dried, it's known as copra. Weighed in bags, it leaves the island on the next ferry. Hard work, little money. What used to be a lifestyle is now replaced by synthetic product. And then when you think the man is relaxing in the shade of the tree, you notice he is busy with the coconut again. The husk of the mature nut is cooked for a long time to soften the fiber. First the hard outside skin is ripped off. Then the husk is beaten to expose the fiber. Did you notice the smooth working surface? Again the multi-purpose coconut tree chopped down. The fiber is used to make rope. A few strings of fiber are rolled together on the man's upper leg and then the twine is used to braid a three-string rope. The rope is traded or used in traditional living. A byproduct of the beaten husk was filling for mattresses, now also replaced with synthetic product. The grated fresh coconut is slowly cooked until the oil separate. Coconut oil used to be used for lamps. It still is a valuable skin ointment and a prized gift. And it is not the end of the story yet. The hardy coconut also travels, either as food and drink for humans or as explorers and settlers of new beaches, building bridges and starting a new circle of life. Just another coconut tree? A tree in beer production. They make cuts in a new leaf which let the milk run. With small leaves tied in good fashion to the milker, the juice is collected drop by drop for the next 12 hours into a container. Fresh, it's an enjoyable sweet drink. 
three days old, it has the frizz of beer. Thereafter, it kicks like a mule, or rather, a coconut fallen on your head.